Good morning, everybody. It's currently 7.30, and today I'm going to take you through a day in the life of a college pre-med student. <laughs> I've got a lot to do today. I have a lot of quizzes and exams and crazy things like always, so hopefully you guys enjoy the video, but for now I'm going to get up. I also sleep in jewelry. Don't roast me. Sometimes I'm just too tired to take it off. I'm going to get up and brush my teeth. <laughs> it's been a new favorite product, Jojo Bay. I don't even know how to say it, but I learned about the makeup of it, like in organic chemistry, and it's really good for your skin. And I've heard really good reviews about that brand, so. Okay, so my morning, or my morning routine is super long just because I have class like super early most of the time. So that's it. And then I do my hair, obviously. This is just a disaster. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna pull bags today and call it good. Okay, so usually in the morning, I'll eat breakfast of some sort. This morning I'm not super hungry, and usually when I'm up like really early, I just am not hungry for breakfast, so I'll eat something light. Today, no, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna eat something when I come back from my quiz, so that'll make my life easier anyway, because I'm running late. It's too early for breakfast. I don't know, maybe other people are like this, but like if I eat breakfast too early, I just get so sick. So I'm just gonna eat when I get back home, after my quiz, after the laser, in between all that stuff. I'll figure it out. We're going with it today. I'm with... Brooklyn. Hi. At her, what is it, studio? Clinic? <laughs> spa. Spa. <laughs> my spa. That is close. Brooklyn is doing my second round of laser hair. Yes, today. I am. Second time. This is go. the benefits of having a sister in esthetician school. Yeah, she gets to come in here and do it for like cheapo. Yep. And me. So it's less awkward. <laughs> oh. Yeah, not, I wouldn't really care it either way, but it is nice that she's here. And all my friends and roommates do it too, so we're all doing it together. <laughs> This is the machine they use. It has this laser that zaps ya. So it doesn't actually hurt too bad, but you're supposed to turn it up every appointment, and that's the hard part, because you have to increase. Because it's like, if it doesn't hurt, it's gonna hurt eventually. But all in all, it's not too bad. And I just finished, so now I'm gonna go ahead and head home and eat some food. <laughs> I forgot where I parked. Forgetting where you parked is like the most humbling thing ever. <laughs> Got it. Down, down. Good boy. Hi. I swear, every time I come home, Hiccup knows I'm about to come home and he just waits for me. Oh, oh. Okay, so it is noon and I am going to make some pancakes. I gotta fuel my body before this six exam. If you don't know me, you don't know that I seriously pretty much eat pancakes every single day. And that is my toxic treat and I stand by it. So I'm feeling the need for celebration today. Birthday cake. And now we study. This is my favorite pancake brand, Kodiak. I use them for everything. Cheers. I am now walking to class. That's the building, life science building. Take my neuroanatomy exam. And I'm feeling pretty good. Well, we'll see. It's like the one exam I'm taking where I won't know my score automatically. So, because it's graded on like spelling and everything too. We'll see. I think I'll do okay. Okay, I finished my exam. I think it went well. I won't know for a little bit, but it felt pretty good. And now I'm home. It's like a really weird angle. I feel like I'm filming for like Good Luck Charlie or something. But right now I have a meeting with my team and we are discussing some things. <laughs> it's for a potential future partnership slash brand deal. So unfortunately I can't film it. I can't film the technicalities of it. I love Zoom meetings. I am so glad they're like standard now. You know what I mean? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Why is your picture me? What happened? What the? Okay, everybody, so how college life works. 
for those of you high schoolers out there. You pretty much work all day long, <laughs> especially once you get to the upper level classes and, and things, everybody's working. And once you get past freshman year, it's not really as fun. <laughs> no, it's fun, but like, you're all like motivated to do your own thing, you know what I mean? So you basically work all day and then you start hanging out with people at like 9 p.m. So we're getting around that time in the night and I'm gonna go bowling with some friends. We'll see, I'm not good at bowling. I don't have a great bowling track record, but that's the fun of it, right? Bowling, let's go. Okay, so I've had a lot of questions actually about what like neuroscience is and consists of. So since I took this exam today, I thought it's a great a great way to uh, explain a little bit about it. So right now in my neuroanatomy neuro class, the first half of the class was all about structures and being able to label things on real brain slices as well as like um, certain stain slices. So the different ways to like see things. So basically you could point to anything on the brain and I'd be able to tell you what it is. And I not only have to tell you, but the test is like a hundred questions and they're just like, so you have to be able to spell it correctly and know what it is. The second half in the test I took today is all about the systems of the brain. So like the way that we feel touch and pain and the way that you're able to hear and like what happens if you get a lesion somewhere in your brain. So and the symptoms that you'd see in a clinical patient. So it's actually really cool because basically I could see a patient come in with, I don't know, ipsilateral gate ataxia and like be able to tell you which part of their brain could possibly be injured, which is really cool because it also includes the, the um, spinal cord and brain stem so pretty cool because that's lots of uh, real life applications and it's been a really fun class I'm gonna show you guys some of the, the slides and stuff it's pretty cool I think it's cool okay everybody I am finally done with my homework for the night and now I just took a shower and I'm just getting ready for bed. It is like one or maybe it's two. One? I literally couldn't even tell you. I usually don't stay up this late. I've been really a lot better about my sleeping recently, but because I have so many exams this week, I'm up a little bit later. Also, this is my mom's brush. You can't really see it. Heritage. The best brush ever. I have like three of them. I have one in my shower, one in my bathroom for doing my hair, and then one out by my mirror for doing my hair when I'm out here. <laughs> and I'm tired. These are my piles of laundry I didn't get to today that I need to rotate. They're on the floor because they were on my bed, but now I'm getting in my bed. But here's like up asleep. He always wants to sleep on my clothes. Okay, well, other than that, that is pretty much everything I do on a Friday. I don't even remember what I even did today, if I'm being honest. So my days kind of change um, depending on the weekday. Friday is actually my least busy day because on certain days of the week, I'm also working part-time in a um, neuropsychology clinic. So I go in and I do research and I work with patients and therapies and things like that. Um, and Friday is also the day I have the least amount of class. So usually I'm on campus more. Usually I'm studying for different things in the library or I'm at the clinic where I work and various different things. That's the thing with, that's the hard thing with doing one of these is like I my day changes so much and I'm sure if any of you are pre-med or even just in college in general you relate to that because it's like no day is ever the same ever so this gave you a great idea of one of them though hopefully and um hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time bye